I think it's just kind of become second nature. I don't really think if something happens in the race. I know what to do. Daniel Romanchuk might be the best athlete you don't know yet. I started wheelchair racing when I was around four years old. And for the past 16 years, he's taken that need for speed to, well, just about everywhere. A lot of places, <laughs> Europe, all across the states, in Rio. But few places in the world compare to Boston, its famed marathon serving as the Super Bowl of endurance. For the first time since 1993, an American wins. The yeah, he won. Boston is just such a, a historic and iconic race, being where the, the wheelchair marathon got its start. But Daniel isn't coasting on the biggest win of his career. Six days a week, you'll find him here. Or here. Or here. Training in the tracks of the greats who came before him. That's very rewarding to see him as a part of that, that lineage. And as a coach, the best part of, of this sport is uh, seeing the athletes rise each day. There are people who I look look up to and, you know, have seen see their history. Daniel trains to win. He trains to push boundaries. He trains to race to a legacy, a race that doesn't have a finish line. It's kind of a dream come true um, to help progress the sport. How I look at cer certain things like, you know, a lot of records, and they're, they're things to be pushed. In Champaign, Darren Mullen, WAND News.